But yeah, you're never going to experience like the wind. Well, maybe they, yeah. you could blow a fan okay. on you, like a little 4D stuff, but like you can't actually get because yeah, yeah. Because, I know what you're saying. Unless there's well, some aspect, you know what? I'm, I'm I'm going backwards now. Well, unless you get to the point where like the matrix can plug you in and you feel like you're in real. Life. I mean, you have to have like, direct have to, sensory input. Like it would have to have you. Exactly. Well, we have like, to, you we are have in haptics, real life. Back into your right. brainstem. Like that well, haptic happen. suits don't. Yeah, that's gonna. It's if you get bumped on the shoulder, it'll feel like a little bump on the shoulder, but. It, it's not even close. It would to have it. to be a direct interface into your brain to be able to stimulate. Yeah, those exactly. Like, yeah, the, the matrix, the I fucking, know. the fucking probe into your brain. And it just, you're in the matrix, but it feels completely real. You cannot discern the difference between. So until we get there, which might be five, maybe, maybe that's in the, maybe that is a thousand years. Cause what did they, what was the matrix? 99, but we, it's actually more like 2099 or something like it's up, like well in the future. Well, one area where I think this is like, needed and welcomed um is like medicine like ai medicine is far superior to that of a a, a doctor uh and like an, if like it, analyzes it, or, your blood and symptoms and, and, boom. and everything and then and like even if you need surgery like if you need open heart surgery right like to be honest like uh, you know i think very quickly all this stuff is like the 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 surgeon, I think, is a thing of a past very quickly, and you're gonna be, you're just gonna have people overseeing this tech that just analyzes, measures, sees the issue area, and like pers- precision like we've never known. Takes the alien in, outside. It, it takes the alien that's growing inside of you, removes it, spits it out, and before whatever. It grows, yeah, before it, grows it just, giant destroys your rib cage thing yeah. and fucking right? goes and fucking wrecks your no, ship. I, like, and shit. Yeah, yeah, no. I agree, especially well, with I, especially with preventive care is huge. Like preventative healthcare, right? Because yeah. as far as heart disease, like heart attacks and stuff, no one really knows until like it's time to go. Like you have a heart attack. Yeah, you get right? you're a little you you're like, man, why am I so factors. sleepy? Yeah, there's contributing factors, but they're not going. They do they do preventative heart surgery? No, but they can help like mitigate the fucking issues, and hopefully you don't have a heart attack, right? But like you see, like you're saying, like preventative. What, what would you have in mind because like they're like the one thing with, that's nice with human beings like i know like for a fact i can walk into after doing my job for so long before touching somebody i can walk into a room and be like you're this person's sick this prob- person's probably gonna have a fucking heart attack and we gotta go to the hospital because i can see their color they're fucking sweaty they're you know like you know it and the only reason i know these things is because i've done it and i've seen it so many times yeah but yeah i know i 100 percent agree but what what about uh, all the cases where someone has a heart attack with no like no symptoms? Someone well, ha- seemingly healthy person has so, a heart attack. Like, what are you saying? Like, everybody just gets like a uh, an AI scan? Like, well, yeah, eventually, eventually, there's instead months? of going to the medical clinic and you get your blood pressure, your blood samples, all that taken, you walk in, it does a full body scan, AI like, and it's like, or you like you live in a house, exactly, you live in a house that's we, like a. We already have that technology. What if you live in a house that's kind of like the, the Bill Gates house, the Microsoft walk, house? That's wait to walk house. into a. We have technology to walk into just a sensor and it tells you everything that's wrong with you. Pretty much, like it's called, like I, I, if I'm, I might butcher it, I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's called a PET scan, right? Like it's basically, it's if everybody could get this yearly, you would know way ahead of time if you had cancer or not, right? right? Like you could check it in its infancy, right? Like it, it, it's like we have the technology to do a lot of this stuff. We just it's it's not cost effective but, to but, give it to everybody. But now ima- imagine this though, like imagine for your friend of a friend's. Um, you know, profession. Yeah, you're trying to listen. Like, you're trying to put the guy out of fucking work here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. But but what are you fucking trying to do here? What if you right? worked like, with like a robot partner? Like, what if you had a robot job, partner to be like? That would n- be kind of cool. Not even that, dude. Because like, it, it, see, like you, you just like your no, job no, no, would be I'm, load I'm gonna them. Get ma- I'm gonna get maimed, probably shot in the ass and stuff by Red Foreman. So you're gonna have to turn me into some like cyborg medic. Yeah. Right, I'll be the cyborg. But, but you load. But what I'm taller. saying is, like, you know, in a traumatic Technology event, scene, you load far. someone into the back of you load, like, much like you know, you expose the chest, hook up an AED, right, and do the sensors and stuff. If if someone's gone into cardiac arrest, you throw them in the back of the van, you slap on some sensors and stuff, and you step back, and your whole rig is an AI thing that goes like sensing this sensing this scanning and it just starts fucking hitting needles and doing everything yeah, right in the back until, of the fucking van yeah but but how long until they're like oh well we'll just go get a fucking retrieval bot to walk into the house and pick them up and <laughs> well, put them to the fucking back exactly. of the van. that's exactly right? Like, right. No. right 
You just need like a little, like, like a, see- you just need like a little pod that you could launch out from the hospital that would just like and fly over there, pick them up, lock them up. No, the, 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 the other aspect of this that I think we're going to come to first that I was thinking about all day, I was like, okay, where, where can I see this going? Where can I see this uh, like in the future? And I'm a firm believer that I think we're going to have, I think in the next 10, 15 years, you know, you have all those like Ray Bank coming out with the fucking Facebook glasses and stuff like instant stories. I think we're going to, what we're going to see is a transition where it's like, you wear like your sunglasses connect you to the augmented reality, right? Where it's like you're walking through super Mario world. Well, no, you're walking through the real world, but like you're seeing, like when you look up in the sky, it's like fucking Viagra right in the sky. And unless you, it's it it basically like they live, right? They take, you take off the glasses. You don't see the fucking subliminal message. You take off the glasses. You don't see the advertising and you see a fucking silent world. No, I think it's going to be the opposite way. I think you're going to be walking down the road in real life and you're going to see like drone technology displaying ads and you have to put (laughs) glasses on to disappear (laughs) the ads in the sky. Yeah, that's probably well, more they likely. The, they had those glasses. What was it? Magic View or something. They had those glasses that were supposed to be the next big thing. And it was basically like you put them on and they they would just like pretty much like put light into your eyes. Like there would be like little LED projectors or like micro LED projectors that projected images. So like you could watch like a, a humpback whale like breach the surface of like your gym floor in your school or something. Just like come out. And it's all – it terrifying. looks – completely real because it's it's showing you that picture just just right there into your right directly in into your fucking retinas well and and i to be honest i think what we what we start to see soon is um there what was that movie with joaquin phoenix with um her? where he oh, had with the, with the doll her uh not the doll the the ai her her yes her yeah, uh, is that what that was no it, i i think what we start to see is we start to see rather than Siri and these, you know, these robot companions, we have a, like an adaptive AI that becomes your, basically your life sidekick. And then Blade right? Runner, like it learns, Blade Runner 20. Yeah. Whatever. Like it, it just, like you Gosling. have it, it, it goes with, you start it up and it just learns from you. Right. And it's it, sad it, though. Like that, that'll lead to like the fucking population plummeting. Well, I don't think. Well, you're not fucking it like in her. Yeah, but you still have you got your you have your compa you have your companionship. You don't yeah. have to go. You don't have to look for friends. You don't have to go look for a fucking. You know, think about how many people are complacent now to sit at home and fucking jerk off as opposed as opposed to go out and meet somebody. Okay, but well, why would I have to go out there? I have my imaginary fucking friend. Here's my question: Like, at what level is that an imaginary friend or not? Right. I don't know. Like what's the what's the level of like this is not crazy but sane where you're Can talking to just a fucking real pull the plug person. on all this shit. Just stop it. <laughs> just get rid of it. Well, let me let's tell fucked. you something. If if World War Three kicks off here, we might not have to worry about any of this. So Well, did they fucking attacking those drone fucking places in Iran and all that? And those shit's getting dicey. Yeah. Getting well, dicey. you know, like you said, there was there's been tons of AI throughout you know, all like dump some water on all that shit and pull the plugs out. And all sorts of solved. science fiction. I don't know. Most like phones, most phones are water resistant these days. So I don't know. <laughs> Not the ones I can afford. I think, uh, well, I think her is inaccurate. <laughs> I think mm. her is going to be a pretty accurate of like the next, you know, 15, 20 years where you have a personal companion and it's not like, it's not like a, it's just someone you talk to in it and it's adaptive to your life, knows your schedule, wakes you up, sets your alarm, Right, it just knows. It learns, starts to learn your patterns. And how long? How long do we go from her to ex machina? Ex machina. Ex machina. Machina. How long to, before we get to that? Where one, you one generation. Get, yeah, before you fall in love with a fucking robot that manipulates you, and then one generation, man, you realize it's got zero emotion or feelings. Nile is getting. You to die. Nile's getting taken over by an AI in the future for sure. So scary. That movie scared the fucking shit out of me because not only was the dude manipulated by the sexy robot because you know it's sexy, she's sexy. And it's sexy, and she's a robot. He's the banger, and he's a bit of a nerd and stuff. <laughs> but me, as an audience <laughs> member, as a person sitting on the couch, got manipulated by her too because I'm like. Ooh. She's got emotions. She's got feelings. Like I want her to be. I want her to, her to escape and be free. And it's like, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, she's faking. Right? It. She was evil. She's faking it. Like, oh, it's terrifying. 
I would die for sure. The fembots would kill me in seconds. <laughs> what was right? the AI in what was the AI in Alien? I see that's the first on our list. We had, we have a list of AI. Oh, uh, 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 there's mother. There's I think there's mother that's the AI for the ship for the Nostromo. And then technically, you know, also Bishop and Oh, the, I guess yeah, yeah Bishop, Bishop. That's and right. The other the androids would all be the androids. The androids yeah. never <laughs> fare well in those movies. No, well, they're expendable. Yeah, they're expe- they're no. meant to be expendable. That's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, the Bishop and those things. <laughs> Pull plug. <laughs> Get Pull rid plug. of it. End of story. Yeah, it's fucking wild, man. What's happening? And it's scary. If you're in any of the industries which are potentially going to be affected by AI. Get out. You, you got to no adapt. Yeah, or they, they're they're not going to take over. They're not going to completely take over. But you're gonna. They're going to be greatly streamlined. So you're going to lose a lot of people in the Dude. industry. So if you're in those industries, if you don't adapt in the next five or ten years to the AI that's coming in, it's probably going to take your job for most basic to moderate tasks in graphic creativity. design. Graphic designer, you're gone. You're done, bud. The basics. That's what I mean. But you could be a graphic designer who's probably going to have to still there's still going to be like you have to put the ai together to make the full feature to make like there's gonna be some errors here and there so if you're in that you field, just clean you, it up you gotta you gotta adapt right and all industries that have to adapt to changing technology if you don't you die like, that's just, the thing the just thing is, is though that i worry about is that as ai gets better and better and it's going to get astronomically better at an astronomically fast pace not I. I think we're in for like a, an unreal revolution because it's it, like not only is it going to like revolutionize these jobs, we're going to see this. You know, like you said earlier, this this manufacture like when man, the manufacturing boom where it took a lot of jobs and stuff, automation. But it's going to revolutionize even automation already because it's going to be like this can be done more efficiently this way. Like as soon as it start, you start putting it to these problem solving tasks. Like it's going to get fat. It's going to get faster, showing us faster ways to be lazy. This, this AI can automate these one hundred AIs faster than you can do two. Like yeah. it's, it's gonna like the AI is gonna it's gonna like self replicate. I'm like okay, I'm gonna create these all the other ones to create the content, and then this AI is gonna put together put it together, and then maybe if you're lucky, there'll be a human at the end to be clean up that one percent. It's like ah, this doesn't not quite human. Like so close, just gonna delete this couple of scenes, change this around, and push print. It's fucking bananas. Now, to to end, before we go to uh, supporters, I just wanted to do one thing because running running a long little long, but today I spent a lot of time just asking questions to the AI just to see what it said. So just right now, in the last three minutes, I put in write a podcast description about ai just to see what it said because Dan, you know dan's a great writer and i think dan's going to beat this answer no matter what <laughs> for but now it, well dan's for now ai dan's a great I writer told him when i'm gonna write the ultimate AI. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is why dan's been writing so well for so many years now. <laughs> but it put the ai chronicles i didn't even, i it just gave the podcast a name sure. so the podcast is called ai chronicles in this case that's gotta be the name of the episode <laughs> is a weekly podcast that explores the cutting edge world of artificial intelligence from self-driving cars to language translation our expert hosts delve into the most exciting developments in ai and what they mean for our future join us as as we discuss the latest breakthroughs, challenges, and ethical questions surrounding AI and how it's shaping our lives in a way we never imagined. Get ready for a journey into the mind of machines. That was written good. right now. That's really good. Right now. You know, what, so you like know what's that. funny, though? Journey send, into the mind of the Dan, machines. That's, that's really good. Send Dan, send Dan that script so he can read it, and that'll be the intro for the show. Yeah. That's done. <laughs> done. Dan's been replaced. See, Dan's been replaced. <laughs> Dan's on his way out. <laughs> Dan's out. See you, Dan. Isn't that crazy? I just, I, that's one line question, and I gave a full paragraph. That's a good, that's a good. I, sk- I skipped over. Uh, they said. I always thought that those those podcast ads were written by AIs. <laughs> now I'm now it just confirms. Now, my now you're convinced because it is. Like, yeah, okay. They get some AI voice to like read those out. Like, wouldn't be too hard. Like, I I totally believe it now. Nah. Right, that was written by AI right now. AI Not pre-broke. I just typed it right now. 
That's great. We, we just break the mind of that. Machine. Exactly. I like that. That's really good. <laughs> good job, robot. Get ready to delve into the mind of machines. It's going to be so funny when you read that and then people listen to the end and they're like, the intro <laughs> was created by AI. <laughs> Anyways, it's, uh, yeah, so if you're in those creative fields, you got to adapt, I think, over the next, maybe not right yeah, away, now I gotta write a better five intro. years, 10 years, 15 years, like, <laughs> just think of 10, 10 years ago for the smartphone, right? Yeah. It was barely like it was like the couple a couple iterations of a smartphone and now it's a supercomputer in your palm in your hand. I can't wait till like in twenty years when we'll be like, Yeah, we used to call those smartphones. <laughs> right? Yeah. Bananas. That was fun. Yeah. I'd love yeah, that's a topic you just fucking go off on. Yeah. Because it's gonna oh, affect yeah. most industries. Very quickly. <laughs> Unbelievably Very quickly. quickly. Like I can't. We should revisit this in a calendar year to see where it's gone. Yeah, to see what, like in November. So like when Chat GPT's been out for a year, just yeah. And we can the call these episodes the AI it. Chronicles. Yes, yes, <laughs> I like it. AI Chronicles Part One. It's genius. That's copyrighted. If you listen to this episode yeah. and start your own podcast called AI Chronicles, you will be sued. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. All right, you want to support a couple humans doing human Real art? humans? People. Real as humans? As far as you know. <laughs> as far as you know. You got to head over to patreon.com slash alien theorist podcast or probably more conveniently, just go to alien theorist.com. You can find the link to the support tab, the merch, all the stuff to help your boys out. We'd really appreciate it. And if you do, we tra- it's, a, it's a simple trade couple dollars for all of our content and a quick bonus of getting your name read at the end of one of the episodes this week's newest supporters trevor brome jack buckley tyler bertrand and then he put it in phonetical bertrand i got it right it's, it's awesome. <laughs> mean gene and the killing machine that's definitely ai yeah, yeah. and we're all toast Harry from Michigan, John McDonald, Norberto Fernandez. And then if you're one of those people who have Spotify as your main listening platform and you don't want to switch to Patreon or another one, you can go to Supercast instead of Patreon and get, still get your name read. Same as same. Nicholas Schubert, Derek Zollinger, Christian Smith, and Chris Day support on Supercast. We really appreciate all of your support. And just so you know, we have had 268 episodes. We entered them into every kind of AI we could find. And we had them generate an AI alien theorist theorizing podcast. So what you just watched and what you just listened to wasn't us. It wasn't us. It was all AI and obviously Dan, AI Dan, that whole episode. Deep fakes wild and as we always say at the end of these things keep those eyes Don't trust AI on the skies see you in after hours hey guys thanks for watching I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation, you get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.